Hi. So let's just have another discussion again about the West children, Oren and Orson. And why? Well, it's because I see comments around saying, oh, it's just protocol. It's protocol that two biological and two other foster children, two foster children, four in total children, were removed from the home after the two adopted children were reported missing. Protocol? Uh, no. Uh, legislation? Law? No. Um, what, what is normal here? Nothing. Okay. So just imagine you've got a family of four and, you know, little Jenny, she's 11. She's in one of the middle range ages and she doesn't come home. She got on the bus, but she never made it home. The parents call the law enforcement at eight o'clock at night, seven o'clock at night. Are three other children just taken from that home as protocol? No, this is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. And I can only imagine that the people saying this are these little repeaters that don't stop and think, they don't really understand what they're saying. They are repeating propaganda from others that, you know, I want you to think there's nothing to see here, okay? Um, two foster children and two biological children were removed immediately from the Wests. Now, what might normally happen if, if there's um, allegations of neglect or abuse, I mean, you'd have a mandated reporter um, or maybe a school teacher or a neighbour who gets in touch with authorities and there's an investigation the children aren't necessarily removed immediately um, let alone just when parents have just reported um, two children uh, allegedly being stolen from their backyard no 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 uh, and this told me everything I needed to know about the West's okay now this is just my opinion. This is going out on a limb yet again. Limb. Ha ha. Boom. But I will tell you now. Those little boys have probably been gone for nearly a year. If not more. But definitely since Trizal and Jacqueline started making inquiries about purchasing a home and moving out of Bakersfield out of their comfort zone these people don't move out of their comfort zone they're not trying to make a better life in Cal City away from their tight-knit family no 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 they moved heaven and earth to get away and why why uh, because they want to hide the fact that these little kids have gone and now they don't have care of their own children okay sure you might argue yes taking away foster children in this situation uh, might be happening well not that I can see by California law and it's not Australian law and I could name several cases where um, things have happened and other children haven't been removed uh, but biological children on top of that? No. No way. Uh, the police knew immediately upon going to the Californian city home, California city home, that something was wrong. And we all know it. Okay, we all know it. Now, we don't know. Maybe these children have just perished. Not just, but maybe these children perished in the hot car. Maybe just some accident that they wanted to cover. Because they didn't want to lose these foster children, these other children, these, or, you know, they didn't want to suffer consequences. But damn it, just come forward, right? Any moral person, you just have to come forward. Not the, not the Wests, no. They come up with a plan. They come up with a plan and they, go, they buy this house in Cal City and they move there 
with their remaining children and they hope that it all just works out, don't they? They hope it all works out. Yeah, Jacqueline's a dark horse, that's all I'll say. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you later.